Hi guys, it's Mary from Glimpse and Beyond. How are you? So I'm sitting here and they're like, you have to use the new cards. So we're going to use the new cards, but they want the old cards too. They're both by the same person. Bear with me because I really do have to read through the book. Aren't those pretty? Look at the back. These are also called fractal cards because they're like fractures of crystals. I love these cards. They're very telling. Okay, from this deck, what are you guys telling me? How many from this deck? Hmm. I love them. They're like however many it needs. And I'm like, that's great, you guys. Just tell me. <laughs> okay, we're going to do three. There's a three. All right. Joyful, joyful week. This, this one. Okay, this one's first. You guys can see it's number 29. I'm sorry, I don't have them all memorized yet, so we're going to read from the book. Number 29 is friendship. There's a great amount of love and support available to you. Friendships represented by the infinity symbol is forever. That's our infinity symbol. The bonds that you created, you can trust. Okay? It is in giving that we receive the most. So offer support where you can, but also remember to ask for support when you need it. All right? So friendship, that's an amazing card. Then we got number 16. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? Oh, that one's so pretty. All right, 16. We'll see what you got for us. They're still giddy, you guys. They're giddy. All right, 16. Healing with intention. All right. When this card appears, it's because you have been asking for assistance. Fair. That's fair. We all have been. Divine healing energy travels in spirals, and that's what this card represents. This card is here to tell you that you are a gifted healer and you are on the right path. Yeah, if you have a health concern, be assured the healing process has begun. That's amazing. Set your intention clearly on allowing your body to receive the healing as you speak. The energy to catch the restoration of your health surrounds you. Trust the process. That's interesting right after friendship. Then we got 41. Look at how pretty that is. That's like super pretty. All right, 41. What do you got for us? These cards are so pretty, I'm going to memorize them in no time. Those are super pretty. They're super pretty cards. 41, Path of the Soul. That's literally what the cards are called. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, this is a complete opening of the heart center. Not shocking, seeing as I've been telling you guys, keep that heart center open. Your will and the divine will are merging. This is the next step in your journey to ascension, operating fully from a place of love. Trust each and every step you are guided to take, even if you don't understand it at a moment. There may be times that you feel overwhelmed with what you've been given. You are in full flow with intuitive guidance, creative ideas, tasks, and undertakings. You may experience a mix of emotional and physical experiences, but you know that this is a natural part of your process. That's interesting. Friendship, ask for help if you need it. You're healing yourself. You're ascending, you guys. You're manifesting and ascending and healing. That was fantastic. I've never opened these cards. New one as of yesterday. Return to spirit, they're called. Look at how pretty. Oh, 
I'm going to like these. I'm going to like these cards so much. Look at how pretty. They're pretty. All right. Let's see. I love when they talk to me when I'm in the middle of these things. They're like, oh, you know, they're just, they're giddy. They're joyful. Oh my God, that's amazing. These cards are fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, they got to look at things. I'll look up what these mean, but I like that they at least have writing. Okay. want me to start with this one birthing look at how pretty that is these cards are gorgeous you guys look at the back birthing when we're in the process of creating something new in our life we're actually calling in the divine force and mastering our gift to creators to bring something new to this world trust yourself in this now moment trust yourself frequency shift look at how pretty she is all right, we'll see what that one means. I love these cards. These are amazing. You are about to experience a shift in your frequency, and this card comes to help you prepared for the upcoming event. You don't say an upcoming event. How exciting. Do Getting ready and knowing what to expect can help you get through the transition period. The frequency shift occurs when the soul is ready for the next part of the journey. Frequency. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready for your journey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This, this is where we're going. Up. <laughs> Amazing. Hold please while I look up up. Time to lift your eyes off the ground and stare look, looking upwards towards the heavens. Keeping you down and trying to be small isn't doing anyone ever favors. The world needs you, the real you. Okay, you guys, we need you. We need you. The universe sees you and knows you as a divine spark in all things. They are calling you now to begin embracing that part of you too. There is nothing your guides or angels want more now than to see you step into the truth of who you really are. That is so true. Your birthing, your frequency, yeah, be you. And we're going up, you guys, up. Yeah, we're still manifesting. Every time I pull cards, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right, you guys, hit like, subscribe, share, hit the notifications, and we'll see you next time.